you want to see this the next time you log on to Fortnite, make sure to like and subscribe. If you don't, this is what your account will look like. The new Fortnite 20.20 20 update releasing in just 4 days time. With the release of the brand new Prowler skin inside of the Season 2 Battle Pass, we have all the information for brand new free rewards, brand new Miles Morales skin and much much more. But trust me, you want to make sure you're staying tuned to the very end of this video as we're going to be breaking down everything. Just quickly, 78.8% of you guys are missing out on a chance for a free gift inside the Fortnite item shop as we do get 5 new and all subscribers every single day inside of it. And if you guys are going to be in need of a brand new gift inside the Fortnite item shop, all you have to do is drop a like on this video, make sure you are subscribed subscribe to the channel with the post notification bell turned on. Most importantly, make sure to drop a comment down below with your Epic Games ID and what item from the item shop you would like to have gifted to you on your account. And if you want to increase your chance of getting a gift from me, make sure to keep an eye out for the secret word hidden in this video to give you an even better chance of getting a gift inside the item shop. If you happen to be picking up anything yourself, do consider using my brand new support credit code YTORA as it greatly does support the channel it allows me to do even more giveaways for you guys. Hashtag ad. And here's a shout out to a few of you guys using my code. If you are using it, make sure to let me know down in the comments your name could be showing up in the next video. With all that being said, let's get straight into the video. So obviously we know all of the pro requests will be added with the 20.20 20 update. Skin will be made available in 6 days from now. So that obviously does mean that when the update does obviously release, the skin will be releasing 2 days later. As you guys will be able to unlock the skin on the 21st of March with all of the other cosmetics such as the harvesting tool, the glider, the weapon wrap, the loading screen, everything you can see on this secret rewards panel, you can get every single one of those rewards on the 21st of March. Definitely a big fan of this skin i'm actually really excited to be able to actually unlock it myself in just a few days time as well as that with the brand new update we should also be getting the prowler as a brand new upcoming boss that will be located somewhere on the Fortnite map considering at the very start of the season we did have a ton of leaks about a brand new upcoming boss that would have claws as his actual ability originally everybody did think that this was the hunt master saber but turns out that that is not the case and it's either going to be the prowler himself or we did have rumors that we would be seeing wolverine appear as well throughout the season pretty sure that is all just a hype up the brand new Marvel Zero World comic book that we'll be releasing in June, considering Wolverine is going to be a big part of that comic book. To top it all off, Donald Mustard actually posted a picture as his cover photo over on Twitter of Wolverine himself, so I'm pretty sure he is kind of teasing that Wolverine will be added here inside of Season 2 at some point. He did actually have an updated version of a Wolverine character that appeared on one of these Zero War comic books, and as you can see, it is Wolverine and he has a cowboy hat on and one of his eyes is actually has an eye patch on it. This could be a potential brand new Wolverine skin that obviously we haven't seen before, but obviously he then would have all of the mythic abilities that the original Wolverine boss had inside of Chapter 2 Season 4. Well, this would make sense considering one of the comic book pages actually showed the ending of Fortnite Season 2. Consider we can see all of the Marvel heroes alongside members of the Seven attacking Covert Command. We may see a lot of brand new Marvel skins arriving in, obviously on the build up to this brand new Marvel Zero War comic book releasing in June. And for the brand new Prowler boss, it looks like he will be appearing at the Daily Bugle. Now, I'm not entirely sure exactly how this will work considering the Daily Bugle is obviously being controlled by the seven right now as you can see from this loading screen the prowler is clearly sitting at top of the daily bugle so i'm not entirely sure exactly what's going on here you can even show up at one of the different io outposts considering we can see in the trailer itself that the prowler is actually on the side of the io with the brand new 20.20 20 update marking the halfway point in season 2 considering the fact that we will be moving into season 3 on june 3rd it's like we also have the possibilities of seeing some live event files get added with the 20.20 20 update which i'm definitely sure everybody is pretty excited about considering we didn't have a live event inside of season 1 Pretty sure everybody was expecting that considering I don't think we ever get some sort of live event that's related to the storyline in the very first season of a brand new chapter. We already do know that all of the remaining blimps that are obviously scattered around the map will be getting destroyed alongside with the one that is currently sitting in the ocean right next to the Daily Bugle. Obviously you can help the Seven obviously reclaim different POIs around the map considering we do have a battle at Condo Canyon currently ongoing right now. Most likely we'll be seeing this all the way up until the very last week of season 2 with all of the remaining blimps obviously getting destroyed as the season moves on. Until the very last week of season 2, where obviously you can see this map here is where obviously the IO only ever actually have control of Covered Command and Loot Lake. If you guys do remember, Loot Lake is actually the original location of the Zero Point, considering obviously in the Chapter 1 map, Loot Lake was a big POI on the map that had some of the most map changes. It looks like this is where the final showdown event of season 2 will be going down, and obviously we do have all of the rumors about the brand new upcoming revived monster versus the brand new 7 robot. Still has a high chance of happening, considering 
considering all the different map changes that we have been getting when it does come to the devoured poi right next to tilted towers and then we do have the robots arm that is currently located on the left of the map maybe that is the io's last plans in order to actually try and defeat the seven which most likely won't go according to what they think a live event should be happening most likely on june 2nd considering that is the day before we do get the release of chapter 3 season 3 which means once the live event obviously does finish we should be going directly into a downtime that will last a few hours up until we do get the update for season 3 that seems to be apparent that they have been doing for the past few seasons now so we definitely expect that to happen and all of the live event files are added to the game and we have a deeper idea on what exactly will be happening in it and obviously with the prowler arriving next week on thursday the 21st of april we do know that the prowler is actually the uncle of spider-man miles morales and considering we've seen a lot of spider-man over the past two seasons now spider-man being the tier 100 inside of season one and then we did have the tom holland version of the skin itself arrive inside the fortnite item shop over winterfest here inside of season two we obviously did have the mary jane watson skin alongside the prowler being the secret skin we did have a lot of insider leaks a few months ago that we would be seeing spider-man miles morales added to the game eventually and it looks like that is actually going to be the case with a brand new miles morales skin cup just like all of the previous skin cups that we've seen in the game where you'll actually be able to get the skin for free alongside all of the other cosmetics that will be coming alongside with it obviously a few days later it will appear inside the fortnite item shop so for any of you guys who are going to be taking part in this cup and you don't actually leave it with the skin i will be gifting out the miles morales skin every single day it is in the item shop these skin cups are actually not that hard if you do think about it all you really need to do is go for placement points and try and get those easy kills and obviously you can third party as well it obviously will get you some easy points if you do get eight points during these actual cups you actually normally get some sort of exclusive spray that is related to the character that you're actually going to be getting in the cup it means we should be able to get a free miles morales spray by attaining eight points in this actual skin cup once it takes place most likely after the prowler skin releases for the skin and its cosmetic itself we obviously will be having the spider-man miles morales outfit itself alongside most likely the street wears considering that is obviously one of his more popular looks in spider-man comics alongside a brand new back bling, which most likely will be this cat that is actually in a bag and if you actually played the spider-man game you'll know that this cat is actually called spider-man as well we do actually have this concept of the into the spider-verse movie we can see that we do have peter porker as a back bling, which honestly i think would be pretty cool as you can see he just kind of hangs off your back that concept was made by felipe santiago and that skin honestly does look pretty sick his version of it honestly looks really cool like honestly can't wait to see it looks like we also have a chance of seeing even more spider-man characters arrive in the game as well considering we do actually have a picture from the marvel zero war comic book that shows a female version of spider-man from a different universe here's that image itself obviously you can see the blaze renegade raider skin alongside this character here who has a spider web come from her hands and i believe her name is actually silk in the comic books and fire monkey also said that one of the future comic book covers will actually feature spider-man 2099 who was a different version of spider-man from the future who will actually also be appearing in the brand new spider-man miles morales movie across the spider-verse but well, we do have a ton of different spider-man outfits that could be arriving in the game as well considering we do know we also have a spider gwen character as well who could definitely make an appearance as well alongside miles morales considering they're obviously deeply connected there's another concept of what that skin would look like and it does really look really really cool so fingers crossed it does come alongside even a spider-man noir skin you can see all of these different concepts so shout out to Felipe santiago for making those they do look really really cool a brand new miles morales skin coming to the game it looks like we also will be getting a brand new mythic web shooter ability and this one is more or less going to be the same one we did see inside of chapter 3 season 1 the only major difference is being the fact that the web shooter's color design has actually been changed to more fit miles morales and as you can see it's more or less just black and red instead of blue and red this honestly has me super excited considering i think the spider-man web shooters were some of my favorite mythics in the game as they were just overall fun to use and to get around the map with let me know down in the comments are you excited to see spider-man miles morales finally make his way into fortnite alongside with the prowler i'm really curious to see what you guys think about this considering i know we have a ton of spider-man and marvel skins already in the game as well as that we still have rumors that we will be getting even more doctor strange skins considering that brand new doctor strange movie will also be releasing in may which is only a few weeks away from now looks like all of the collabs are kind of going all over the place considering we even do have leaks about fortnite chapter 3 season 3 with the fact that we should be seeing darth vader make his appearance in that as a brand new boss as well as a skin that obviously does go hand in hand with the obi-wan kenobi show considering darth vader will be appearing in that show alongside with obi-wan kenobi it would make sense why exactly we do have the return of lightsabers here in chapter 3 considering with the latest update we did actually get some reworks done to the lightsaber abilities you can see from the background of this video we do actually have a clip of the lightsabers back in action on the chapter 3 map and they do look really cool i honestly did miss these i think we haven't seen them since i believe sometime in chapter 2 but this could just be for the may the fourth day which obviously is a not international star wars day really that is everything we do know about the brand new upcoming spider-man miles morales skins so if you guys are excited about it make sure to let me know down in the comments that is all i pretty much have for you in today's
today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And the secret word of this video, it is going to be the word Spider-Verse.